So you've had to have thick skin throughout your footballing career and now you're considering a move into politics. Do you thrive being outside of your comfort zone? Yeah, I think, you, you know, growing up, I, you, you've had to have that because when you're growing up and you're playing football, some people don't believe in you, some people do, so you've got to kind of keep on going. Uh, you're going to get knockbacks, you're, gonna, you're going to uh, have the ups and downs. So you've got to kind of be, you've got to negotiate, you've got to toughen up, you've got mentally, uh, you've got to keep on looking forward. So, yes, I've had a little bit of it. Um, yes, the uh, political circles, uh, there's a lot of that. Um, there's a hell of a lot of that, of that going on. But in football, I've had quite a lot to, to deal with, negotiate, get through, and also win. Um, I haven't won all the time, but at least I've, I've won enough to, to understand I can handle the pressure and win at the same time. And that's what people want. You, you, in this environment, you're going to be pressurised in all sorts of scenarios, not in a bad way, but in a good way, to understand that you can, t you can actually handle it and keep it together to get your goal or get the people's goal or get you know, say London Mayor, get, you know, get London through and get, push London to, to the next level. There's a lot of difficult situations, a lot of people at stake. It's a higher level. You're actually dealing with people now. Before, I was just dealing with teams and people's aspirations as fans. But this time, if, if I go into in the political circles, I'm dealing with people's, real people's aspirations and where, you know, where they're going, what, how much money they've got in the pocket, what opportunities are there for them to kind of move on. It's real. And I understand that because you know I've come from the bottom, of, I've risen, risen to the top, so I've got that. I've got, I've been through that journey. Yes, I've been successful in, in football, but I've, I've been down there and I felt it. I understand that there, there are people, that, there are good people down there who need to be lifted, lifted up, and there's clever ways of doing it. How would you describe your leadership style? Very pragmatic. Um, I've got a vision. Uh, I'm flexible in some, in, in some aspects, because you have to be, but I know where to go, I know where I want to be, and I, I, but I'm flexible at the same time, but when I dis decide on something, that's it. You know, you've got to be kind of forthright and understand this is where we should be going, but you always have to leave a little bit, to, a, bit of, a bit of flexibility, just in case uh, something goes wrong, and also I delegate, and also I want to listen. I want to surround my, a leader, you should surround your, your, yourself with people who give you different scenarios, challenges you, and I'm happy with that. I understand that, I'm very comfortable with that. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, then you're, you're, you're the only one who's going to make decisions all the time. You need a good team around you, you need to understand that someone might bring something different to the table, and that, may, that might be the key. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty kind of headstrong and but flexible. What advice would you give to a 20-year-old soul? 20-year-old soul? Um, keep on believing. Go beyond your reach. Um, do your work. Understand the social uh, circles around you. And don't be frightened to step into another social circle because that social circle you might be more comfortable with.